Sagittarius, we are working in the healing business. We do have the heal and we have the dedicated effort. Either you are, um, and <laughs> maybe you are focusing on healing yourself. That's a heal card. Um, the star card is Aquarius energy and the eight of pentacles. But I feel like the focus is on healing. And again, can be your work, can be your energy, can be your mind, can be the person you are dealing with, can be all of this, all of the above. Eight of um, Pentacles with the Six of Wands. We are working towards success. We are deploying some energies. And it's a love reading. So, probably, this is about you working hard to get what you want. And we do have the moon. We might be a little bit emotional about. We might have to confront fears about this love bond, this connection, this relationship, this whatever. And we don't know yet. Can be a Pisces you are dealing with, right? And the Five of Pentacles, feeling alone. This is fear of, right? Five of Pentacles is the energy of rejection and the moon is all about fears, dark emotions, and um, depression, anxiety, that kind of energy. So let's see what's going on. Well, we may be in love with an Aries. We do have the Emperor and we do have the lovers. This is Aries and this is Gemini. Can be, <clears throat> can be one, can be the other, or can, you know, the person can have both in their chart. And in any ways, we have all the signs in our chart, birth chart. So for some of you, this is about taking control. We do have lead and we do have love. So that is this um, love connection that you are actually called to lead. And I say that because both are major arcana. And we know it's about lessons and pieces of advice. Um, for some of you, you are called to, from, for some of you, you decide actually to lead this um, love connection that you have with somebody. And the Emperor is about taking control, it's about getting organized, it's about um, getting all the ducks in a row in order to succeed in something and to succeed in love. So love is on your mind in May, that's good. So let's see, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, okay, you get three, it's alright, there is a lot to say for the past energies let's see current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's see the possible outcome and we have your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck we do have the eight of cups moving on and release wow you um, it's a little bit like leo leo got all these messages Moving on, release and make the effort to release. We need to leave something behind in order to have whatever control we want over this love connection. Can be, um, you know, like your old self. Doesn't mean that we need to release somebody or someone, but can also be working on your own transformation and moving on from something that might be quite dark. It's a dark energy, the death. I'm more sensing as a transformation uh, because we do have also the Emperor so we know it's all about taking control and making changes so for some of you might really be um, transforming and taking control of, the, of your heart maybe for some of you, we'll see. <clears throat> so Sagittarius in the past we do have our energy is pulling from the past, right? That's why we ask for um, and it's something that we still need to uh, deal and solve. And we have the um, sadness and isolation. And we do have the star again, Aquarius energy. Um, for some of you, this is about healing a broken heart. I mean, the universe could not be more specific in this one. We got hurt or the situation became bad. And um, and then we needed guidance. That is the... Um, the star card, right? This divine guidance. We needed healing. We needed time in the nature. To spend time in the nature, we needed um, spirituality to overcome this. For some of you, it was um, it's the guidance because we ask for past energies that we still need to deal in the current moment. And for some of you, you are guided towards spirituality and dealing with pain from a place of love, unconditional love, the place of forgiveness. What, what spirituality? This is exactly, you know. And um, can be forgiveness for yourself, can be forgiveness for the other person who hurt us and, and um, you know, and um, understanding and uh, getting the energies um, in the flow again. Um, 
now the person you are dealing with, well, they share their love. We do have the Three of Cups <clears throat> in the past and you are their wish fulfillment. We have them in the Nine of Cups energy. Uh, you know how it feels? It feels like drunk with love kind of energy. So they shared and you are the one. So that's kind of the energy there. <clears throat> and probably um, in their feelings, I mean, and probably a water sign because we do have a lot of cups on their side. So, um, and at some point while shuffling, we got the moon. So probably somebody, it's a water sign, right? But in their emotions, I'm quite happy to have you. But let's see what happened. Because we have a lot of pain on your side, like, like you got hurt really bad in the process. So much so that you needed guidance and, and uh, kind of a change of approach or people intervening. You know, the star is also, um, you know, people coming together to help. Uh, mutual energies between the two of you. <clears throat> In the past, we do have the helpless and hopeless energy. So both of you at some point, uh, you felt helpless and hopeless and I don't feel bound to each other because you come from two different energies in the past but I'm sensing more unable to move and I say that because it's paired with the nine of wands the wounded warrior re rest and reconsider helpless and hopeless that was a world of pain between the two of you and we have the, the nine of pentacles right focusing on self nine of pentacles is I'm gonna take care of my body of my mind of my um whatever financial stability um, was important at that time. And we have well-deserved reward, right? So the effort was made towards independence and standing, you know, both of you standing um, in your own power independently. Yeah. A world of pain. I wonder why so different energies on your side again. One of hurt, they might have done something, said something. And on their side, there, there was a lot of love. If you're wondering if they ever loved you, I mean, we have shared the love and dreams coming true. So, so such as where, where are we right now? We do have the Two of Pentacles. We are um, keeping a brave face, kind of. Two of Pentacles is keeping everything up and running. <clears throat> this is the energy of work, um, responsibility, doing whatever you need to do. And the Three of Pentacles. Probably you, you want to reach out to this person. Maybe you do. Maybe you, you think that by reaching out, you'll find your own balance in what you want. Um, Three of Pentacles is also the energy of work, of teamwork, of building something. So you might be very practical at this time and focusing on everyday life and, um, and partnership and whatever um, gives you a sense of stability because you have a lot of pentacles right it's and it kind of makes sense when we come from a place of hurt like this we attach it's the first phase it's the survival phase right we attach to whatever keeps us grounded and um a little bit you know the mind is uh, quite occupied i call it work therapy <laughs> you know <laughs> but i'm just saying now the person you are dealing with well um, they are in the hangman position, <clears throat> kind of. This is looking from looking to this situation from a different perspective and focusing on joy and stability, four of wands, family roots, community, stability, right? Um, and observing, I would say, right? That's the energy of, um, might be stagnation, honestly, but I'm more sensing expanding of a mind and illumination because it's paired with a four of wands. Somebody is longing for a sense of home. We know that the four of wands is the energy of home, of, um, <clears throat> um, I don't want to say kind of forever because it's not just like the hierophant, but it's a little bit more stable than whatever was. And it's a shift in energies, right? We had them quite emotional and now we have them like, okay, let me focus on my roots and my enlightenment here. Mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the six of cups and the strength. Um, so what do you want me to say? It's a, it's a strong love connection, right? Strength is about a very strong whatever is paired with, and it's paired with a soulmate bond. So it is a strong soulmate bond that you have with this person, actually. Um, the strength is also being courageous through the current situation, 
um, it's about inner courage, it's about strength and kindness, so probably you are kind to each other. Um, and uh, you might be married to this person, we do have the four of wands, maybe the four of wands is not quite stability, but somebody being on a pause in a connection, in a relationship, in a, doesn't have to be marriage, right, can be a very stable connection. Four of Wands is also the energy of we are not married, but we are living under the same roof and we are sharing resources, right? Three of Pentacles, actually, it is um, building a life together with somebody, you know, so. Um, and we have this strong soulmate bond connection. We love this Leo energy. Moving towards uh, May Sagittarius, we do have um, the Seven of Swords and we have your own energy, the temperance, we have balance and we have seek the truth. So that is something that we might have to pay attention to. Seven of Swords is the energy of deception. It's the energy of not telling the truth. Um, that is something that might be hidden. Um, for some of you, it's very important because temperance is also the energy of peace of mind, the energy of healing, the energy of compromise. So if you are in a connection that got really badly hurt, you know, that is some truth that you need to tell yourself about this connection, about yourself, about the person, about whatever, in order to reach that kind of balance, right? But that is something hidden. I know. Now the person you are dealing with, they do have the justice. This is karma and justice and final decisions. And we do have the four of pentacles. This is a card of self-protection. This is a card of being guarded also. Um, it is opening up, but I, I would say this person slowly might be detaching. Um, you know, can also be, we have them thinking, um, such that is with the um, hangman. This is the energy of thinking. This is the energy of changing perspectives. And the outcome can very well be detaching and um, actually telling you about detach and open up. Somebody might um, share this energy of, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I'll step back a little bit. And the justice, of course, it's all about legalities and pieces of paper. So there might be um, this kind of energy uh, on their side. And guess what? Mutual energies. We do have the two of pentacles. This is your energy right now. And we do have the six of swords. Walking away to find balance, both of you. Okay. Six of swords and the two of pentacles. We absolutely walk away in order to find balance. In order to be able to tell the truth that you want to tell. And in order for them, you know, to um, make whatever decision they need to make. That is a little bit of step back and distance. We already have this distance with the hangman on their side. Um, and we have on your side this need for balance, right? And it's interesting right now you do have fine balance and b the way we uh, walk towards May, we have you in balance. But that is this truth that we need to be honest about or we need to find out about. And I say that because the overall energy really we have release and move on and it's paired with the dedicated effort. So we need to let go of something in order to um, have a little bit of balance and control, leadership in some way. We started with the emperor. How about we take control over the whole situation? Just a bit. But if you are wondering, right in the middle of the reading, you have a strong soulmate bond with somebody over here. It's right, you know, the whole reading is around it. So this person you inquired about and you, you do have a bond, but we have the energies of moving away and healing. I believe after the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, um, that is a need for healing here. Together they make the Ten of Swords, which is the ultimate betrayal. So it was a hell of a journey, but in order to find balance, we need to heal. And that's both your energies. So let's ask for some guidance, Sagittarius. Let's see what we need, what type of energies we need to get going and flowing. Maybe we are blocking them without knowing, so. We do have virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Well, how do you feel this is, this applies to you? It's quite good. It kind of, um, you need to encourage others, right? Maybe this person of yours. We do have gratitude. 
you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So we need to get the virtue going and we need to get the gratitude going. It's like we need to be more grateful for whatever happened. I know it was hurtful, probably still is, and it was a hell of a pain, but you know, this is kind of what you need to activate. This is manifestation cards, right? So I fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to me. <clears throat> we do have gratitude and we have empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. Well, what do you say, Sagittarius? Virtue, gratitude and empathy. We have vision. I love this. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. And we have bottom of the deck, doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. I release the need to know all the answers. So before you do something, you don't need to know everything, actually. It's like taking a risk, taking a chance. Let's have some guardian angels, probably two, and then I say goodbye. Oh, we have the tower. So well, we are all going through a tower moment. Um, but actually, the guidance for you is out with the old, in with the new. That's releasing and moving on. And leading with love. Um, because it is lead and love, right? That's your overall energy. Lead with love. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truth. And you do have seven of wands. Bottom of the deck. And we have you're being called upon to claim your personal power. It's like the emperor, right? Um, feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right time to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. So probably we are a little bit conflicted about letting go of the past and moving on. And you do have please release and move on. Um, and we have this energy of... Oh yeah, we're going to say no and we're going to walk away. Um, I believe it's releasing time. We, we just did Leo. It was exactly the same energy of releasing and letting go. And I believe I'm picking up the energy of a Sagittarius who will manage and be successful in um, letting go. Um, so Sagittarius, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.